Hi guys, it's Sean from Sean's Lawn. Today we are top dressing this lawn just to get some organic goodness in. Now we just bought some multi-purpose compost and we're basically just spreading it out across the lawn. And you can do this by putting it in piles and raking it about and working it in with a brush. Or if you've got the expense and the gear, because I treat lawns as well, I use a Bannerman mini top dresser and it just literally spreads it out across the lawn. So we just push and it comes out the bottom there. It's quite steady really. What we're doing is just getting some organic goodness into the ground. So there you have it from Sean's Lawn. Now, to work it in, you can use a brush or the back of a rake. I'm just gonna show you here. So, on the back of a rake, just literally, do that and it works it down towards the soil surface and if you've got any bare bits what I did I had a couple of patches here which still hadn't quite fully filled in so I've dropped some seed on there first and again we're just working all that compost down so the grass will grow up through the compost and that goodness will do the ground no world of end, no world of, no, no end of good. So, that's with the rake. And it's a similar process with the brush. Really, just literally brushing it in. So it's not gone anywhere, apart from down, it's settled in and amongst the blades of grass. Or you can use a professional drag mat or lawn levelling loot which will drag it all around doesn't matter what you use as long as you can get it down there that goodness is going to get down into the soil profile and help it out so this for the sake of a cost of compost which is eight pounds um, one of the big 125 litre bags will get you around 30 to 40 square meters typically what I find when I'm doing it so just figure out how many square meters your lawn is and then go get the compost and it's just under eight pounds a bag drop that onto your lawn and if you can do that once a month you're going to be getting some exceptional goodness into your lawn and it's going to stay lush and green as long as you give it the watering and the regular cutting and you keep it to a nice high level of cut what you are then doing is ensuring that the weeds get crowded out because your grass is longer your grass will be thickening, thickening up and basically the weeds cannot see the sunlight because the grass is taller and crowds it all out we also did this border out today but that's not really relevant to see so I'm going to crack on with this but if you want to do this guys highly recommend you do it um, once a month, once every couple of months, just to help things out. All right.